Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. This is a pick a card all about Venus retrograde. So if you guys know, we will be we'll be having Venus retrograde in the sign of Capricorn starting on the 19th of December for the next six weeks all the way until January 29th and it will be creating a conjunction to Pluto as well. So expect things to get a little intense. What a great way to end the year, right? Uh, it's like we haven't had gone through enough changes as is but so this is happening and of course venus you know is the planet of love and money and it's a planet about relationships right and your creativity and your, what you value your sense of self-worth um and in capricorn capricorn it's a very serious energy right is ruled by saturn and so i feel like it's venus here gets very buttoned up it gets very serious about like what it wants and what it needs is a very mature placement to have Venus and Capricorn, especially when you have relationships, you go very seriously, you you definitely commit, right? Very mature energy, mature love here. For a lot of you, this Venus retrograde, you're gonna be assessing your relationships, your um, connections, you're going to be looking at your marriage, you're going to be looking at as work relationships as well just because it is in capricorn you're going to be look at looking at your savings as well uh, where are you overspending um it's also again it's going to be for the next six weeks okay as well as here with venus retrograde expect people from the past to come back okay especially uh because we're talking about venus here and so expect these energies, these relationships to come back around. Someone is looking for something. I just heard it's under the bed. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but okay. It's under the bed. Uh, I don't know. Whoever that is for. <laughs> Whoever that is for. For a lot of you, you're going to be looking at, with Venus Retrograde, your foundation. You're going to be looking at what is it that we are establishing. A lot of things are coming up in order for us to communicate, to have that open communication with our partners or with our coworkers or with our boss here. For some of you, because Venus will be conjuncting Pluto, and I go more into detail on this, especially in the love aspect on Patreon, that video should be uploaded when this one is uploaded as well. Um, over there, I did do the pick a card of like who specifically is coming back for this Venus retrograde here on YouTube. I'm just keeping it very um, much about like what, what do you need to know for Venus retrograde? So it could be about your business, it could be a relationship, it can be uh, different things here. But again, with Venus being conjunct Pluto, relationships are bound to be shake, shaken up, okay? There could, it could indicate breakups as well. And Pluto and Venus go conjunct the day of Christmas, you guys. For those of you who celebrate, for those of you who don't, it's December 25th. Um, and so, you know, expect a little bit of a shake up there, especially because we are surrounded by people, relationships, friendships, right? Um, family. So, you know, just expect a little bit of intensity there. Be careful of obsession, And try to keep it light. Try to keep it light, you guys. Because, again, the energy is a little intense. Be kind. Show compassion to yourself and others as well. But let's see. Let's see what this Venus retrograde is bringing for uh, you guys. Remember that this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, just let it go. Timestamps, how to book a reading. Again, I am not taking personal readings right now. Uh, from December 20th all the way till January 2nd of 2022. I'm taking a break after that. Everything is back to normal. Um, 
there is another fake account on instagram you guys just be wary of that do not pay for any services via dm um i would never i don't follow people so that's a big red flag i don't message you first in regards to a reading you guys know this already and thank you to all of you who have me who made me aware of this um and thank you to all of you who have reported the account already i appreciate you guys again if you are not part of the family and you would like to be hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload and i will catch you guys in your selected pile hello pile number one let's see what this venus retrograde is bringing in for you let's see what is coming what is happening what are the themes around this venus retrograde we have navigating by the stars follow your bliss okay grounding butterfly dreams okay so transformation hermit we have strangely perfect timing we have the ninth house so sagittarius you might be a sagittarius you might have strong sagittarius or jupiter in your chart sun moon or rising do not get caught up in the signs i just like to read the signs because i know some a lot of you like that so during this venus retrograde i do feel like there is going to be a sense i feel like this is something that you are looking for something that you're studying something that is you've implemented a lot of time and energy in this in this um this project this situation i feel like it's going to be important during this Venus retrograde to take some time to ground your energy, energy, to take some time to look at what is it that makes you very happy. What lights you up here is what I'm getting. For some of you might be studying something new. We have cancer energy here. For some of you might be traveling. Okay. But it's a lot about self-care. We have teaching. Okay, so for a lot of years, career-wise, assurance. This feels like a new project. Goddess of Venus love. There we go. We have the Venus here. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Albatross. This came out on Patreon. And we have here Angels of Four Directions. So let me just put all the cards out and then we start talking. For a lot of you, you're going to be working through intuition and manifestation. You're going to be working through karmic cycles kindred partnership and health okay so it's a mixed bag here for a lot of you i know you cannot see it I'm trying to like well maybe we should put it here i'm gonna okay i think that's a lot better i feel like um for a lot of you there is this sense of self-care big energy around self-care taking care of your body taking care of your emotional state being uh, your emotional well-being taking care of uh, some of you might be changing states or might be moving to a different state i don't know that's coming um forth for a lot of you i am getting here as well for a lot of you you are going to be working through cycles karmic cycles okay i do feel like this is with the kindred spirit this could be with a taurus libra we have Cancer and we have Sagittarius energy coming through very strongly. There's a sense of transformation. There's a, there's a big transformation happening within you. I feel like for a lot of you as well is you're stepping into this Empress energy regardless of gender. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're going in a different direction. There's something here that you're assessing, you're planning with someone else, okay? For others of you, I do feel like you are working through, like I said, a cycle here that is out of your hands. It is out of your control. And I feel like there's some you've been wanting to manifest a kindred spirit. And I feel like this kindred spirit will come in after you do this work, this like shadow work that you need to do, this these karmic cycles that you do need to close out. Because I do feel like you tend to overgive with the cancer energy here. For others of you, I feel like you're going to be teaching, okay? You're going to be teaching around or about around, okay? Maybe around your area or maybe you're going to be moving and teaching or going to different countries and teaching, something like this or different states. But I'm getting like 
you're teaching about relationships you're teaching about the different types of partnerships that there are and i feel like you're also because you have gone through a lot or this six weeks you will be going through deep transformation when it comes to your relationships and i feel like all that knowledge and that wisdom you're going to implement it in a coursework here and i do feel like this is something that you've been wanting to manifest for a while and so you're working on it okay and i feel like your guides are saying do not put pressure on yourself because everything is happening in divine timing okay it's it's what's coming through for you i'm also getting here as well there is a sense of destiny this is destined for you i do feel like you work very strong or very closely with archangels as well because that is coming through right here i do feel for a lot of you this venus retrograde will have you focusing on family focusing on a sense of home within yourself your own self-worth your own value and also here, I feel like you will be releasing a lot of emotional baggage, okay? A lot of burdens here, a lot of shame and regret when it comes to past relationships, when it comes to past business ideas, when it comes to the fact that you haven't been taking care of your health or your body or your mind or your emotions. But I do see here that overall, there is a kindred partnership coming in. And this is something that you've been wanting to manifest. For some of you, you might be taking this seriously might be taking it to the next level as well this could be with a we have the queen of swords this could be with someone that you have a, that you have a distance or this could be someone who is an air sign gemini libra aquarius a lot of you are going to be doing a lot of family healing as well There's a lot of emotional balance here. You're getting balanced, grounded. There's a wish fulfillment coming in with this Venus retrograde. But you are going to be doing emotional work. Okay, is what I'm picking up. I feel for some of you, you're getting out of a difficult situation here. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Things are moving forward for you. you again, there's paths. There's roads opening up for you. Oh yeah, there's a soulmate coming in. For some of you, you might settle down with this soulmate. This soulmate might have a family, like they, they've been married before, or they have children, something like this. Yeah, this is something you've been manifesting, and it's coming to you. I feel like you're going to be able to ground something, something tangible here. For others of you, I feel like you're going to be making a business in regards to an experience that you've had or that you went through. Yeah, I see you guys teaching, learning and teaching. Yeah, there's some type of news here with the Page of Swords. Again, teaching, learning something here. And then we have the king of swords so there's a divine counterpart we have the queen and the king of swords here showing up i feel like you guys are at a distance so i feel like there's going to be an offer someone is moving in your direction this is someone who has even though they come off as an air sign they have strong mars so they might have mars in their first house um or strong placements when it comes to like scorpio in their chart or this person is like fighting for you as well as what I'm picking up. Okay. Yeah, this person wants victory with you and they see victory and they see it with you. Like they're, like they're seeing it as like you're my person. Yeah, there's an offer and it's coming from far away. For some of you, this could be a work offer as well. Okay, don't just think it's love because this is, again, it's a general video. So I'm trying to keep it as like open as I can. Uh, but I do feel here that... This can be about work, but most of you, it's about the lovers for sure. But you're making a choice here is what I'm getting. To either go towards a new adventure or to stay with where you are at. Yeah. But there is there is a new possibility opening up. Whatever this is, it's going to make you very, very happy and very fulfilled. And um, as well as, like I said, I feel that there's a lot of um, 
this person is going to teach you a lot when it comes to your spirituality. Like this person shares the same beliefs, shares the same uh, moral codes. Like they're very much, they're very adventurous. I am picking that up. Um, they're open to different things. They're very family oriented. Again, this is something you've been manifesting. This is something you've been wanting. Especially with the magician here. But for others of you, again, you're you're like, setting up a workshop or a class or something here that you will be teaching okay you will be teaching this you're perfecting it again i do see a sense of transformation whatever is going on now is the perfect time is divine timing okay but there is a kindred spirit here for some of you might be working with a partner a kindred spirit as well like collaboration work wise And for a lot of you, you're getting something positive. Like there's something here because it says get what you deserve. For some of you, you're getting something beautiful. Spirit is handing something to you now. Whether this be a, an idea, okay, or something you've been wanting to manifest. Again, it's like you've been in the dark around, about this, but you've been following your bliss. You've been following your passion. And I feel like spirit is now rewarding you. But there's a lot of growth for you, especially in relationships and connections here within the next six weeks, particularly with that kindred partnership here. Okay, and it has to do with self-worth and self-love here with this Venus goddess of love. This is the Empress energy. Again, you're like, I am getting what I deserve. Because I am the Empress, right? Right. And I see a lot of abundance here and happiness for you guys. But that is what I have for you guys. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, pile number two. Let's see what this Venus retrograde is going to be bringing in. Is it going to be career? Is it going to be a relationship? Like what's going on? we have breaking trail okay so for a lot of you there is some type of news some type of a shocking information coming in blessings rainbows here okay for a lot of you i do feel we gotta remove this this is from pile one maybe you guys need to take care of your health drink more water rest but let me pull the cards here we have you may never know damn okay okay let your edges be liquid speaking of water <laughs> okay be fluid like water be fluid like the water be flexible okay some things you just may never know sectile another semi-sectile sectile opportunity transformation reconnecting with spirit the sun queen of fire leo energy here the bridge okay making amends your higher self okay Ooh, deception okay some things you may never know new supportive connections and we have wisdom here okay pile number two i feel like your message is pretty clear for some of you i'm not gonna lie you're gonna go through some type of an upheaval here there's something that you're going to find out something that you did not know was going on behind your back okay whether this be with connections friendships uh, someone that you thought was very supportive or was on your corner I feel like this person, uh, Spirit is revealing this because they're saying it's time. I feel like you've been trying to gap this. I feel like you've been trying to make it work. You've been trying to uh, have this bridge here be solid, right? You're just like, yes, I want to. I feel like you've been trying to communicate here. You've been trying to unite you and this person, okay, this friendship, whoever it is. You've been trying to collaborate with them, keep things in harmony. You've been compromising yourself, for this situation that's not good pile number two 
and i feel like you've been trying to overcome those barriers this could be with the fire sign strong leo energy here you might be fire sun moon or rising but i feel here it's like something is is not hospitable it's not growing it's not no vacancy i'm hearing you care a lot about this person i really do feel that pile number two you're, you've been very generous too generous with this person i feel like whatever this is it has served this purpose pile number two okay i know you are someone who's who is willing to work things out who is willing to again not burn this bridge down but i feel like this venus retrograde is going to bring some type of self-realization and that's that breakthrough that you're having you're finding a new direction here it's like you have discovered who you are and what you are worthy of and i feel like you're not staying i feel like you've been very flexible it's like you haven't been wanting to be rough around the edges with this person you haven't been wanting to be mean that's what i'm getting i'm getting like i haven't i feel like because in other circumstances you would have cut this person out a long time ago but i feel like there you have a, so a soft spot for this person i don't know why you have a soft spot for this person maybe because at some point this person was solid and reliable because at some point this person collaborated with you i don't know but i feel like there is deception here and you're gonna find out about it i feel like you really saw potential in whatever this is the problem here is and i have to be straight honest is that you saw potential whereas they didn't and that's that that's not good especially we're talking about relationships that's not good because in a relationship we both need to be working together right we both need to be cooperating with each other whether this be a friendship relationship whatever it is it needs to be a two-side street not a one-way not a one-way street okay that doesn't work that way i feel here for a lot of you it's like you're you've been wanting to find something out i don't know what it is it's like i wanted to know why that didn't work or why this person is this way or why doesn't this person see the potential like you wanted clarity around this situation sorry i have all the cards here so i can look at it <laughs> but your guides are saying we're pulling back and i feel like you're accepting the fact that you may never know you're accepting the fact that you know what it's okay i don't need to know because their actions and their words speak loud. You're getting worried about something and you're not going to be happy about it. And I feel like whatever this is, it's definitely something that pulls at your heartstrings. Again, this could be about a Leo. Okay. You're letting something go. You're letting something go you're breaking trail you're like i'm doing my own thing going my own path this person is in their ego here okay but you're having like this self-realization here and i feel like you've been intuitively picking this up yeah you're not growing something anymore you're not watering something and i feel like your higher self is coming in pretty clear pretty clear i feel like this connection pulled you further away from your connection to spirit and i feel like this venus retrograde is actually bringing new supportive people into your life not these type of people but these type of people people that are going to be condu conductive to your growth people that are going to be very caring and they're also very creative they're also very magnet magnanimous there's someone um you're going to be able to grow okay for somebody this could be a fire sign that's coming into your life we have the sun twice 
these are people that are authoritative in their own way and in their own life okay not in a way of controlling or ego based but just they know what they want to their leaders in their life they're very determined they are warm they are caring And I feel like with them, you're going to be able to also let your guard down for some of you. But it's going to be for the right people because I feel like here you were letting your guard down for someone who was not. I'm sorry, but they were not worth it. But that's for you to decide again because... Yeah, there's like, it's like things are just going to flow like water. They're going to flow like water. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, these are reliable people that are coming in. They're very caring, very loving, very nurturing with that Queen of Cups theme there. They're not flighty. The sun, again, you guys, this Venus retrograde is going to be really good. It's bringing a lot of clarity around connections, friendships, co-workers. Yes, it's going to bring in a tower. Like I said, it's, I'm not going to lie here. It's going to bring in this sort of like storm here. And you're going to have to leave a lot of people out in the cold or you're going to feel like there is people leaving you out in the cold because, again, they did not have your best intentions. But that's the only way the rainbow can show up is after a storm. So I feel like it's in order for you to align with your soul tribe. And you might have already been seeing previews of this. Okay, yeah, there's there has been. What is the seven of swords? Why is this deception here? Why is this deception here? Truth. People haven't been honest. People have been pulling the strings behind the scenes. Yeah, there has been some type of deception here. Spirit is not allowing me to tap into it. That means it's going to be different for every single one of you. It's about a certain connection for some of you. And for some of you, it has to do with the people that you associate with. Like friends. Okay. People haven't been completely honest with you. There's truth coming out. Because the Ace of Swords just tried to pop up. What is this truth? What is this truth about? They have been guarding whatever this is. They have been guarding it under lock. Okay. Yep, they have. Someone has been keeping you blinded by something here. Like, they have been keeping you willingly in the dark about something. Yeah, but see, I feel like your guides... They're going to reveal what this is, okay? They are. They have to, is what I'm getting. They have to, it's time. There's some type of communication here. Luck, okay. High Priest at the bottom of the deck. Then we had the Ace of Swords with Venus. So truth about a connection around connections, okay? Mercury. There's communication. There's truth, communication, word about something. This came out on, on um, Patreon. And it has to do with either a temperance or a, a connection here. For some of you, it could be that someone is coming in with the word that they want to reconcile. Okay, because temperance does talk about reconciliation. Someone wants to make some type of an offer here, but I, feel, I see you rejecting them. I'm sorry, but I see I see you saying no. 
Yeah, I feel like they took too long. I'm hearing you took too long. If this is about a love, you took too long is what I'm hearing. So this person has their guard up. Yeah. And for others of you, there is truth being said around... Again, the divine is stepping in because you need to know the truth around the relationships of people around you. I know it wasn't the best reading, you guys, but I feel like in return, there are divine connections coming in. Connections that are going to be truthful, that are going to be balanced, harmonious, okay? Where you're going to have a lot of opportunity for growth. And again, the ones that need to go away or the ones that don't need to be in your energy is going to be discovered in order for you to make space for newer connections. But that is what I have for you, pile number two. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Hello, pile number three. Let's see what Venus retrograde is going to be bringing in for you guys. Success. Ooh, I like that. Choosing your own path. the next right thing okay so your next steps is being revealed <laughs> spill it uh, spill spill it okay spill it maybe spirit is spilling something for you they're like that's it this person is not getting it we got to spell it out we got to spill it for them because they're not understanding i feel like this has to do with your work with your career for some of you you might work in a career that is um very where you're able to play or have this like motherly role okay where you're able to provide some type of counseling emotional support uh so type of healing energy here with the moon okay or an intuitive job but i do see here that this is all about career your money your investments i see that you are branching out you're moving in a new direction you're getting word about the next step the next thing for you when it comes to your work and I see that you're trusting it and you're choosing that path or at least for the next six weeks, you're going to be contemplating. You're going to be looking at it, assessing, planning things out in order for you. I'm hearing planning your next your next uh, move here. Yeah, there's a lot of guidance coming in. You might be doing this with a friend, okay, or a supportive person. This could be with a Capricorn. This could be with a pisces or cancer or someone who is very intuitive it's like someone has the business aspect and someone has like the the emotional or the um like the motherly role okay i don't know why that's coming through but that's coming through there's a lot of success here for you guys i see like i said this could be with a supportive friend this could be some type of collaboration with someone some of you this is healthcare. Some of you are choosing or contemplating, maybe going in a different area or maybe even like changing jobs, changing clinics or changing like the hospital where you work or changing even your provider. I'm getting for some of you. I don't know who that is for, but you're changing your provider. But there is help coming in for you guys. I feel like for a lot of you, you guys are my lighthouse. OK, you are someone who guides others and i do see that there is a detour and that is that choosing your path okay this is like spirit is presenting you with something else and now you're having to kind of assess and be like what do i do do i stay where i'm at or do i you know change things up and go towards the new regardless the gates of triumph are there for you regardless what you choose you will be successful okay it's just a matter of what you want to experience but i do see here that no matter what you choose there is a safe passage like spirit is like we got you you're not alone this is open to what you want to experience okay and again use your logic use your tact again a plot course of action yeah you guys are planning something and i feel like for a lot of you with this king of wands you guys are very innovative but i also feel like it's don't let your thoughts and your worries get the best of you okay don't there's a lot of hesitation and that's why i see you kind of at the edge there, kind of overseeing 
the layout or the plan and being like is this what i want to do is this what how can i get there and faster how can i make this work in my favor there's a lot of like indecision coming from you but i don't feel like it's indecision it's just more like i just don't want to mess it up is what i'm getting and there is confusion there is unclarity here but I, things are not very clear but i feel like venus retrograde is going to have you kind of like doing that that work optimism yeah again see it's kind of like you're looking at the landscape and you're like okay you know i know the sun awaits me and i have accomplished a lot where i'm at but i'm also conscious that there's more land for me to conquer okay and so i feel like you're choosing or you're wanting to branch out or to move in a different direction and that's that's what's going to be happening for you during this whole venus retrograde it's like i want i want to again they're at an arcway archway so is this one it's like a like a new portal opening up for you and i'm getting this energy of like do i stay here or do i move forward or do i cross that do i go and investigate what else is waiting for me and that's kind of what you're going to be doing. You're going to be like, should I? Should I not? You know, assessing the obstacles, assessing the the things that might come up. It's like you're planning. You're in this night of pentacles energy. Yeah. And also sitting in gratitude. Sitting in gratitude that you're also trusting that if you're being led to or a new door is opening for you, it's because there's something for you to learn there. But again, you guys are saying, but this is optional, right? But also staying in gratitude and being like, but where I'm at has also taught me a lot. Peace. We have the swans there. That might be significant for some of you. But I do see here. There's Yeah, there's a decision. You're looking. You're looking. You're trying to look at things from a higher perspective. You're assessing things. You're looking at your intentions towards moving in a new direction. You're trying to see beyond the cloudiness. You're trying to see beyond the doubts and the hesitation that you have. Trust. You got trust twice. Whatever is going on during this Venus retrograde, you got trust twice. You got to trust that you're safe, that you're secure, that spirit loves you. Okay? For some of you, there could be an olive branch being extended to you. Maybe by a friend okay or a co-worker or maybe even a soulmate i always see dogs as soulmates and maybe this person is coming back to why is this they're wanting some type of reconciliation because the ten of cups wanted to come out for some of you this is a spiritual lesson but i'm also getting this energy of high level commitment with the hierophant this could be a king of wands for some of you. Yeah, there's healing here. This person wants healing. Strong Aquarius energy. They want to heal a misunderstanding here. Yeah, this person is charging in your direction. It's an emperor. Okay, so divine counterpart for some of you. We had the King of Wands trying to pop up, and then we have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, yes, definitely Divine Counterpart. I see a masculine moving in your direction. Okay, and I feel like this is going to be unexpected, and that might be the curveball. That you're like, oh, you know, for some of you, it's like you're, you're on a whole new path, or you're breaking trail on a new path trying to walk towards a new beginning and this person comes in and it's unexpected and you're like well what do i do now you know what is the next thing to do what is the next right thing to do but the thing here is is that there is no right or wrong answer here there really isn't it's what brings you peace it's what makes you feel balanced what makes you feel optimistic what fulfills you emotionally that's all that matters here pile number three yeah, you're making a big decision, the Queen of Swords. You're making a decision here.
there's also like this creative spark with someone and you're achieving something with someone. You're getting something done with someone. This person has like alpha male energy. I don't know why that's coming through alpha male energy. This is I'm getting this is someone who is exceptional. This this is a very masculine energy, okay? Um and I feel like this person is going to spell something out for you. This person is going to spill something, spell something out. Again, this could definitely be around work. This could be your boss, this could be a coworker that is guiding you to the next step as well. There's a need for you to trust, okay, what is unfolding. There's so much going on here. Yeah, be very conscious about where you have no vacancy, right? Where, yeah, there's someone knocking at your door, but you have to be conscious whether you have space or not, whether you can take this or not. Because I feel like Yeah, because if not, this situation can drain you. Because it's like you have this full battery and this person doesn't. And they attach themselves to you because they see that you have you have that, that charge, that energy, that battery there. So again, friendship. Yeah. I feel like there's a very strong friendship here that is going to help you or spell something out for you. What is this friendship? Hold on. This person, this friendship has knowledge. Is what I'm getting. Knowledge, knowledge. Let's see, what is this friendship? For some of you, this friendship is gonna lead to romance. You're gonna have that option to take a friendship to the next level. Okay, maybe someone that you work with is going to reveal something to you. Yeah, knowledge. Something is coming, and this is this has been coming up for Patreon as well. Like, there's a lot of truth being revealed here and i feel like it can create a challenge though it's kind of like you've been friends with someone for so long and all of a sudden you're like oh you have feelings for me type of energy right i did not know that or creates this awkwardness energy i don't know for some of you, you might take the risk you might bite into it like you know um you might give this person a chance for others of you, you're going to choose not to and you're going to retreat. Again, whatever it is, make sure you're just being honest with this person and you're being authentic and, you know, being upfront, being kind and compassionate as well. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Pile number three. Yeah, it's like your guides are saying, now you're the one making the choice. You're making the call. But that is what I have for you, pile number three. I, I know it was a little bit of a mixed bag here, but that is what's coming. Maybe you're going to be feeling confused or you're going to have a lot of things coming at you at once. Like this new career path and then there's also this person and then this friend. And then like there's a lot going on. So make sure that you're taking time to rest. Make sure that you're, make, you're making and taking time to find peace and to connect with yourself. Okay, sweetheart, so that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself, and if it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.